Well, time to flip some new arrows. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I'm one of the people that hate it. So anyway, I found a better solution. Not needing them. Introducing Easy Veins. Let's go. Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel. As the introduction shows, I'm going to be refletching some arrows um, using the Easy Veins. I'll give you the model and the part number and stuff and put it in the description so you know what size I'm shooting compared to what I used to shoot, which was the Blazer Veins. Uh, previously fletched up these arrows using the white wraps with Blazer Veins in the orange and white, and I've even used the quick fletches as well. <coughs> so, to make a start super easy all right what i'm going to do is go from start to finish quickly show you how i do it the cloth must appropriate alcohol clean your shaft you always need to be working with a clean shaft there's your wrap Heaps of people have made videos on how to install wraps. I put on a piece of foam, squishy foam here, just to sort of compress on the arrow a bit, make sure that's straight. Put the arrow in front, line it up as best as you possibly can. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not, here we go. Just eyeballing it as best as possible. Push down a little bit in the middle. No. There we go. Wraps installed. Oops. Okay, next we'll do the vein. <coughs> what I did, I measured down from the back of the arrow to the front of the blazer for my existing one, six and a half centimeters. Sharpie. Do a dot, six and a half centimeters there. some tape what I'm doing is just making it level with the dots level as you can anyways this will act as a stop before we slide the, the easy vein on they've got their own video on their website as well I'll put it in a link below a link in the description below I mean it around because we're going to use that to peel it off get your vein get some glue slide slide it on a tiny bit just a little bit like that going to put a layer of glue around the end here not too much it's going to drip everywhere put it on a bit of a hard surface here and then slide it down in one movement, bang. And then pull the tape off real quick. There we go. Let's fit it up. Done. There we go. Or after record time you don't have to use any fletching jigs I've got this one I've got a grayling one as well which I've used and I don't mind doing it the old school way but this is definitely much quicker you need to be able to do some repairs out in the field as well just keep a couple of these handy give you a bit more of a close-up look of them that's the part number there of these particular ones 4FL3 these are the closest probably a tad smaller than the blazers as well um, <clears throat> they're a four vein, obviously the blazers are a three. Now I shoot a PSC uh, Bow Madness XS. You can see it over there in the um, bow press. Let's give you a bit of a look here. It's only a short axle to axle bow, but what I find is that sometimes my arrows 
have clearance issues with hitting the cables um, so getting a a thinner vein I'm hoping to have better clearance there this bow is um, 28 axle axle 29 inch draw um, shooting at uh, 70 pounds as well so I'm gonna do some tests out here I'm gonna be shooting at the, uh, the Fasco target <coughs> So yeah, as well as um, those ones, they're the ones that I actually ordered. Oh, got some longer ones here. Give you a bit of a comparison in their size. Apparently these are the quietest ones uh, that he's tested with as far as noise uh, flying through the air. Um, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to fletch up some of the bigger ones, uh, one of the bigger ones and do a comparison in sound with the smaller one as well. <coughs> I imagine flight that'd be very similar anyway, but I'll try and get a, a slow-mo shot if I can for you and put that up too to give you a bit of an idea of what it looks like if, if it's gonna spin or whatever. I recently just did some work on the bow. It's not fully tuned properly, but it'll be enough to give you an idea of what it looks like anyways. Well, anyway, let's uh, fletch up the bigger one and we'll go and have a shot. What I'd probably suggest too, if you want, I mean, you don't probably don't have to, but you can probably put it a, a little bit around the end of it. Because I am going to do a test where I'm going to try and pass through something as well with these to see how tough they are. Actually, the, the glue's on the back of that already anyway. Let's go have a shot. Chunks of glue on it. I had to rip that through pretty hard, and this thing's just like nothing. The actual, um, no, it's fine. Same thing again. Still no damage. Well, well anyway, in conclusion, would I recommend these veins? Yes, 100%. They are freaking amazing. You can repair arrows on the run. You don't need any special fletching jigs or anything. Um, this would be ideal for uh, anybody who's going through a lot of arrows. I reckon if you were hunting in the top end for pigs and passing through and just wrecking heaps of arrows, then yeah, um, or wrecking heaps of veins, then I definitely recommend it. It's so quick, you've seen it takes literally about a minute per arrow. And I'm pretty sure when you get on a bit of a roll, you can probably do it a bit quicker than that as well. So um, I'll put a link in the description below to their website. Uh, you can use our discount code as well, which is Urban10, you'll get 10% off. There's also a link um, which will take you straight to uh, their website with our um, discount code already on it. So yeah, Easy Veins, check it out. Multiple colors, multiple shapes, not only for hunters, but also for target archers as well. And yeah, they're just a really good thing. I think it's about time that technology is catching up um, with the other veins and stuff that's out there. Uh, these are 3D printed and As a comparison, that's a blazer vein, an orange one, and that's their easy vein. The the weight when you add four of them together is very similar anyway, so you're not going to be messing with your arrow weight that much. Um, they're flexible just like these ones. You can fold them, squish them up. As you can see, they passed through, copped a bit of a flogging. I did like three or four um, you know, more shots after what you've seen and passing through and everything copped the beating and the arrow is fine but anyway just as a comparison in what the material is these feel a little bit rough if you're familiar with blazers they have a bit of a textured kind of finish and so do these 
camera's probably not picking it up, but you can see the, I don't know if you can hear it, there's like a zippering sort of noise that's on it, but that's how they're manufactured, but so do these. Not as much, but it's definitely there. Yeah, that's just the condition of the arrow now. Pass through multiple times, not moving around. I mean, the the wrapper's seen better days. It's copped a bit of a flog, but it doesn't matter. There you go, guys. Easy veins. Would I recommend it 100%? Get it today. There's a link below. Uh, Australian made as well, so you'll be sporting a small business as well. Yeah, get on it. Anyways, be safe, keep shooting, and hopefully we'll see you uh, soon when we're going out and uh, chasing some deer or something. Let's wait for this lockdown lockdowns to end, and we'll be good. Anyways, hooroo.